So hi, hello and welcome, my crop hunter here and yes, today I want to share with you a very interesting email that I received. An email of a disappointed uh, microscopist. Uh, he bought himself uh, a new, uh, quite expensive microscope and he was really disappointed. And then when he returned the microscope, uh, he realized that, well, maybe it is not always necessary to get the best and most expensive equipment. I simply would like to share the email with you. Um, it's a little bit longer. Um, and then I'd like uh, to give you my take uh, and my opinion on the situation. Hello, microbe hunter. I'm writing this email because I think that what I'm about to tell is a common and yet not often expressed problem among microscopists. First of all, maybe you remember the problem I had with the brand name microscope. I'm now in the process of returning it and that made me think of a thing that may benefit a lot of people in this hobby and maybe you could make a video about it. Well, of course, <laughs> thank you. Here is the video. And I think it's a very important topic, um, a topic that I've uh, also talked about a little bit uh, in, in uh, some of the previous videos. However, this email really um, yeah, nails it and really puts it to the point and expresses uh, the opinion quite clearly. Um, I need to tell you a little bit. Um, I have uh, been in contact uh, with uh, this uh, viewer of my videos uh, per email because he had some technical problems uh, with the microscope and now he decided to return it. We always want more, more equipment, more quality, more and more to have the best possible experience in microscopy. But I experienced this myself. Sometimes even a cheap Omax microscope can be better than a brand name high-end microscope. This is because it feels, quote, with more freedom to use it and not be afraid of ruining some mechanisms. I have had an Omax since 2016. And yes, I still want to get a new microscope because I feel it's time. This older microscope is now getting more and more difficult to use, having more problems. And here now there is a very interesting, uh, the next uh, sentence quite interesting. But I learned that you do not need to upgrade to an expensive microscope. I watched your video when you said that microscopes are like iPads, and that's true. I made the mistake, and many microscopists also, of focusing on the equipment and having this idea that the best microscope gives the best experience. That's wrong. I've been thinking of buying an Omax M83 7ZL microscope once I get the refund. Why? Because first of all, it is almost the same as my current Omax and I would not be getting so many problems in getting used to it. Yours sincerely. Well, thank you for your comment. I need to uh, clarify a few things. I made a, in a previous video, I stated that uh, modern microscopes these days are a little bit like iPads, not my words, but also um, the words of another person who wrote a comment in my YouTube videos. Um, and with that, uh, I meant to say that uh, modern, modern microscopes often are not quite serviceable. They cannot be repaired. You buy them, you get them out of the box, and when there are issues with them, you basically, yeah, throw them away, yeah? And, uh, and then you get a new microscope. Um, so this is a little bit this uh, this attitude of, of um, yeah, um, using it until it doesn't work anymore and then you get a new one. And this is uh, basically what I meant uh, when I said that uh, microscopes are a little bit like, uh, like iPads. They're kind of closed systems <laughs> that are difficult to maintain unless you get really um, high-end brand microscopes, just to clarify a little bit. But now let's go back a little bit uh, to this uh, comment here. Wow, uh, it was like this that um, the uh, person who wrote me this email had several technical problems with his uh, slightly more expensive microscope. He um, wanted to upgrade, he got himself a microscope and the first thing is, is that there were problems uh, with the me mechanical stage, it wouldn't hold the, the slide. Um, he sent me then some pictures that he took uh, through the microscope. I have to tell you the image quality was, was horrible. Um, I don't know why, a massive chromatic aberration and not just uh, yeah it, within the normal ranges was really severe so i don't know there must have been some some optical problems as well i don't know why um, i've never seen anything like this in any case he decided then to return the microscope um disappointed uh, but not only because of the quality aspect uh, but also because 
it was so expensive and actually it did not really add very much to the hobby. And I think this is also one of the things that I would like uh, to, to say here is, is, um, sometimes we are focusing too much on the equipment. We want, we think that we need the better camera. We need the better, more expensive, um, objectives to get, um, a, a nice picture. Um, because sometimes you want to also get very good uh, images. You want to share them. You see, um, YouTube videos, also some of the uh, many cases, videos that I make make and I understand this but sometimes it is actually more depends on the way that you prepare the specimen than actually on the optics of the of the microscope so for example I do receive a lot of uh, not a lot but occasionally some emails where people ask me uh, what is the best camera for for um, for the microscope how many megapixels do I need do I need to get more megapixels to get a very nice image quality and it's a no no that's completely the the, the wrong point uh, the, the resolution the camera resolution does not um, yeah uh, contribute so much here because the limiting factor is the microscope but we're already um, at the limit anyway of what is physically possible um, so but people don't know really okay what do I now need to do to actually get a better experience and um, sometimes um, it is indeed the case that um, yeah you have to upgrade I mean I think it's a good idea to have a binocular microscope here we're able to look uh, through it with two eyes it gives you a better experience than always having to hold one eye yeah, closed of course, um, it's a question of convenience. It's a question of ergonomics. Um, and uh, larger microscopes um, um, are also a little bit more convenient to use if you sit longer behind the microscope. Uh, sure, all of this is uh, the case. However, a microscope that uh, costs 10 times as much does not allow you to see 10 times as many things. That's also... A, provided you are beyond the toy microscope level. Okay, so let's not talk about those. But uh, the point that I'm trying to make is, is that there is this law of diminishing returns. The um, This means that um, in order to really um, yeah, get um, a small improvement, you have to pay a lot more money. And then the question is, is it actually worth uh, the small improvement in the first place? And the interesting comment here is, is the following. Well, you have to be yeah, you have to kind of um, like using the microscope. And if you spend already so much money on a microscope and you're always afraid of breaking it um, or of, of, I don't know, um, doing something wrong and then it doesn't work anymore and you cannot get it serviced uh, because it's a closed system, then of course this takes the fun out of microscopy. So my suggestion as always is, is um, yeah, um, start, uh, start low <laughs> and then upgrade if you feel that you have to. Um, and in this case, it's a very nice example where an upgrade uh, was a little bit, uh, yeah, too much, I would say, and unnecessary because it did not deliver this uh, expected jump in microscopy experience. And after all, what we are all interested in is, is not alone in the technology and in the hardware. Of course, it it's also quite interesting. I like to talk talk about uh, microscopy hardware, but ultimately it is the observation of nature, okay? Um, that we um, want to experience our immediate environment through the eyepieces of a microscope because yeah, it connects us more to our environment. That That is actually an attitude or an approach that I would like to encourage as well. But then again, yeah, I like to... I like microscope hardware as well. Okay. That's why I've also made this uh, YouTube video, but let's uh, keep everything um, a little bit um, in, in balance here. Very, thank you very much again for your comment. Um, of course, uh, this topic, uh, different people might have different views um, on this topic um, as, as well. And uh, I would simply like to encourage you. Maybe you can uh, post uh, comments uh, below. And I do have to say one thing. Ah. Uh, before you click away because um, I do also receive emails uh, and comments like this is yeah but I mean why are you always saying that uh, um, yeah it's not necessary to have a um, very expensive microscope you yourself um, are very using very good microscopes and that's correct but um, I have specific needs for those because I'm making YouTube videos and uh, for this reason I have certain specification requirements um, that help me make YouTube videos and this is the reason why um, I need certain equipment so just to clarify this a little bit because I know that some some of you might comment and say, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> you say always uh, uh, buy, don't invest too much at the beginning, and then what are you doing? Okay, uh, you're not even um, yeah sticking to your own things that you say. Well, and the reason I know about that, but I have to say, yeah, I've got specific requirements as well. I think now it's really enough. I wish you all the best. Happy micro hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye bye.